I'm Ying Shi Zhao. I'm a postdoctoral research scientist based in the HSE Health System Collaborative in the Nafu Department of Medicine Center for Global Health Research. Most of my research focuses on human resources for health. So globally, there's a massive shortage of health workforce. This is most acute and most severe in low and middle income countries, especially in African countries. Those countries also suffer from other challenges. For example, health workers are more likely to concentrate in more urban cities as opposed to rural areas. And those more health workers are likely to work in um, a high income country after migration. Those countries uh, also face other challenges of health workforce, which leads to them being demotivated and also very likely to be burnt out, which di uh, directly harms the quality of care they deliver. Some of my previous and ongoing work focus on the Kenya's medical workforce. So this is directly in collaboration with the medical schools, the medical regulator and the professional association in Kenya. We looked at the um, internship training of medical doctors in Kenya and um, the labor market transition. We found out that um, the training experience of medical intern in Kenya is relatively poor. They don't have good supervision at all time, especially for those interning in smaller hospitals. So for example, there are some intern who have to learn how to do a cesarean section on a YouTube video because there's no consultant available in that hospital. But also the limited health system financing means that many of those doctors after their training couldn't work in public hospital, even though many wanted to. This is despite that the public hospital have a shortage of medical doctors. This creates a massive challenge. So the challenge with health workforce shortage is a global problem. It's in every country and there's no easy solution. Some of the area of interest for us, including how do we develop new role and also develop new responsibility and task for existing workforce as well as how do we ensure the ethical recruitment of workforce from low and middle income country into high income country like the UK. And also the other problem I think really importantly we need to consider is how do we ensure the own personal well-being and experience of health workforce. Every health worker are all individually are human. They often suffer from burnout and well-being problem as we've seen from COVID. So how do we ensure themselves are being taken care of? It make a difference for patient. Uh, for one, all of those health workers are usually at the front line of patient engagement. So their own well-being and their own motivation will ensure the patient service they deliver are of good quality and are safe. This directly benefit patient. And second, because health workforce education and training usually are publicly subsidized, each individual training of medical doctor in Kenya costs about £30,000. This often generates from public financing. So ensuring health workforce planning are being done well will ensure there's no um, resource waste from public financing and from individual population as taxpayers. It matters because every health system requires human resources for health to function. Think about all the new medical innovation we develop, whether this is a new drug or a new diagnostic, or a new way of doing surgery, it will require a health worker to either do it or to supervise a robot to do it. Improving the planning of health workforce is the single most important factor to improve the performance of a health system. So that's why this is really important.